Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, because, say it with me now, it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. I don't yet have a theme in my head for this edition. I'm sure one will come to me once we start getting, once we get into this. We're going to start off with a couple of unboxings and then we get to play with the stuff. So the first box we're going to open is from Tool City. Toology. T O O L C Y. Toolsy. Toolsy. A Toolsy must. They must be watching. They, they must have seen what happened to me the other day. I spent all day washing, washing Trudy. Washing white lightning, washing the little maroon car. I spent all day washing vehicles. And the next day, I had to drive by a construction site where they were pumping muddy water <laughs> out of the ditch and onto the road. So I spent all day washing Trudy and the pickup, and not even three miles from the house, they were even dirtier than before I started, the day before. Anyway, Tulsi's gonna help me with that. I had someone post a comment uh, a year ago telling me that I needed to have a foam canning. Tulsi has sent me a foam canning. This is a tool that I'm truly excited about. Now, I have a pressure washer that does a really great job. The only problem is it's got a really long wand. Well, with the tool seat kit here, I've got a foam cannon so I can spray the foam. But I can also put just a nozzle on this. And so I end up with a shorty versus the long one. So let me, I'm going to put this together and then we're going to go outside and we're going to work with it. See how well it performs while washing the truck, the pickup. So Toolsy, thank you for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Finds. We're going to check out the foam canyon. Next on our list, next box. I'm really excited about our next channel sponsor. When they reached out to me, I was like, ha, that solves the problem that I have. And the problem is, I have. if you're not aware, I have another channel, the RV Homestead Texas. We have 10 acres down central east Texas. We're building a homestead down there. We're not there yet because we're sorting out things here, uh, but hopefully in the in the very near future, we're going to be down there on a full time basis. Meanwhile, I I've had indications that there are people trespassing on the property down there, but I don't know who. I've not found any people on my game cam footage, but I know they're there. I'm finding beer cans, shotgun shells, you know, and tire tracks. So I know they're going in there, and I think they must be wiping the card on the, the game cams. Mubview is going to solve that problem for me. This... Oh, 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 it is a cool one. A little bit technical. I'm going to have to do some serious reading on this. But this is a 4G wireless camera. It is a cell phone camera, solar powered, so it doesn't have to be plugged in to be functional. So on my remote property, I can put it on a tree, put my solar panel up, and I'll have connectivity to the camera. Here is the camera. 
it is a fully articulated camera and you can control it with the with an app works with uh, from what I understand it works with all of your 4G LTE carriers I don't know it even comes with a micro SD card mounting hardware USB cord that's your chip and then there's a mounting bracket so I'm gonna do what I do I'm gonna read the instructions get it set up figure out how it works and then I'll show you how it works uh, and I'm excited about that I cannot tell you how excited I am so let me go to work I'll be back so the tool C pressure washer grip I like this a lot we've got the, the quick disconnect here I'm already pressurized so I'm not going to quick disconnect we have a quick disconnect here it includes five nozzles we got and if we look at the I'm using the Greenworks Pro we've got green orange and white which are the same a 15 a 25 and a 40 and then this has a, a soap nozzle so I'm thinking the black is a soap nozzle I don't know what the red is though so that's what we're gonna find out but I, I like this because it's uh, shorter than the big wand that came with the Greenworks Pro oh. That's, that's super narrow. So now we'll do black. See what the black one is. Kind of just a soaker. I like this for, for doing up close. Because sometimes that wand is just too long. Now let's try it with the foam gun. The foam gun is it's adjustable. We can turn this knob to get more or less and we can open and close the nozzle here. We can switch back over to the really I really like the Tulsi foam cannon it's the Snow Foam Cannon Kit by Toolsy. Ah, I like this bad boy. Let's move up here and foam it again. We need lots of foam footage. Now I'm just, I'm just using dishwashing detergent, so if I had a real foaming solution. This would really be cool. It works great with this dishwashing soap too. Whoa! Talk about a jump cut! Good morning! We went from suburbia to rural. And that's because I wanted to demonstrate how this camera can best be used. A great situation. We have no gate. People are often driving by. I've had indications that some people were hanging out drinking beer in the form of beer cans. 
So we want to be aware of what's happening here on our rural property. That camera will always have connectivity and it works extremely well. Currently I'm recording my 10 acres I've got the camera you can see I just got out of bed this morning I need to go get a ball cap I took my ball cap off so you can see my face communicating through cellular network on this camera Now we're talking on the camera. Now we're talking on the camera. Audio's pretty good. Audio's pretty good. You can see where we are. In comparison. <laughs> it's not the fastest connection. But it works. But it works. I think this camera is a really good investment. For what it's worth. Now, now one thing you do need to know, the SIM card that's included has enough data, just enough data to establish a connection, to make sure your camera is working. And then, and then you have to buy a data plan. They have the 30 day, it's like $15 for a full year of data. It's like 150. But if you're in a situation such as we are, out here in remote East Texas where there are no landline connections, that's, that's a great deal. Uh, if, we'd, if I'd have had that before we had power installed, I would have been much more comfortable. We would, we would not have the concern, and I know I would have nabbed the beer drinking probably teenagers, but anyway, that's a great investment. Now it's time to go explore the next sponsor of this edition of friday's finds i'm excited about this one although it did show up in my life a, a little bit late and anyway anyway let's let's jump over to the truck and, and and then we'll talk about the the third sponsor of this edition of friday's Finds. i'm excited about this one I'm really excited about this one. If, if you're not familiar with the channel or, or who Dude RV is, we I actually do a lot of traveling in, in a, a big motor home. And occasionally I'll go out and I'll, I'll have an adventure in the F-150 and go camp places where the big motor home doesn't fit. And I do that to document campgrounds for y'all. It's a resource that I have created. Public campgrounds in the state of Texas and, and beyond. There are times where I'm camping without electricity. And I run with a little 100 watt inverter that I can plug into the cigarette lighter so I can power the, the laptop and recharge all my, my battery packs. And I've got a, a full blown camping kit, but occasionally, I, I'm a coffee drinker. I love drip coffee. I love my Mr. Coffee coffee pot with fresh ground beans. I do carry pour overs and French press coffee makers and I can make a, a pot of coffee on the propane stove, but I just like my Mr. Coffee coffee maker. And then there are times when, so what I'm talking about here is electricity in case you're lost. <laughs> I'm not talking about coffee. I'm talking about power. When we, when I was out here work building on the land, actually I, I wasn't building, I was just observing all the bulldozing, building of the road. I, we did not have electricity. And so I was actually living in a tent on the back of my property camping. I, I was using propane to make coffee and food and and there were times where, and, and I was using the F-150 
as a power plant. Now I did bring a generator on a couple of those trips, but I was like, you know, I'm already, I already have an engine. Why do I need, but I had to power this refrigerator. And my portable refrigerator uses more than a, the 100 watt inverter could accommodate. Folks, some folks reached out to me a couple weeks ago and they said, hey, we're wondering if you'd be interested in, in working with our product. And when I saw it, I was like, oh yes, I got it. We gotta, we gotta talk about this one. This is the car generator. This was de developed out of necessity. The inventor was in Ontario, Canada. Back when we had that, that log extended freeze and everybody lost power, well, they, they lost power up there in Ontario as well. And he had the same thought process. Well, I already, already have an engine, a motor that produces power, produces electricity. Why can't I use that to power the necessities, the necessities in his home? He set out to create a solution that anyone can use. The car generator is unique in that it doesn't have to be permanently mounted to the vehicle. So when you decide to sell the vehicle, you don't have to take that stuff out. This, this is easy to store. It's a weatherproof housing. This is the thousand watt. So there's a thousand watt pure sign inverter right there. Now a thousand watt, you're not gonna be running air conditioners with it. So if you have a travel trailer and you're camping off grid, you're not gonna be able to operate your air conditioner, but you can operate everything else. You can top off your batteries. You can run refrigerators. It's designed to to power the necessities in a home when there's a power failure. But that translates over to getting off grid and doing some boondocking. They have three different sizes. The thousand watt is going to be applicable to most any car. You get into the next two levels up and you really have to determine how much electricity the alternator on your vehicle produces. And it is so simple to use. It's basically a set of jumper cables that you connect to your electrical connection and then you turn it on. Now this has a weatherproof housing. So you can leave it hanging. Just like that that's weatherproof so in inclement weather you're connected we're not going to go full-blown connection just yet because i need to start white lightning but you're connected and then you can close the, the hood and you've got power as you need it now the kit comes with a watt meter so you can determine how much electricity you're using so from here you would run a 12 amp a big 12 gauge you want a heavy extension cord if you're running appliances so you need a big 12 gauge extension cord you will plug the watt meter in at the end of the cord and then plug your appliances into that so you'll know exactly how much you're using on the thousand watt model that's peak operating wattage so you're going to want to have it you want to keep it about 800 so you get a, a little buffer this is some really cool tech what else can i say about it it's got a one-year warranty it, it's 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 pretty simple to use we'll fire up the truck and we'll, 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 I'll find something to power. So we'll, we'll power up the truck, plug in some stuff and play with it. The audio is going to be a little bit choppy because I've got a couple of noisemakers operating. As you can see, we're connected to the battery. Inverter is on. We're plugged into an extension cord that connects to the big blue bluer. On low, we're using 
164 watts. We'll see what happens when I turn it up. 171. On full blast, we're using 219, 212 watts of power. Yeah, we've got electricity. We got 110. We can operate the big blue blower. That's cool. No, no fancy installation required. Uh-oh. And there we are. We can power the house. That actually shows that we're getting 14.4 watts of power into and through the system. That is recommended. They, they do recommend that you turn off all the stuff in your vehicle lights radio uh air conditioning system so that you get the maximum amount of power coming out of your car generator and you don't tap into the battery you, you've got to be very mindful that you're not using more electricity than the engine can produce so just, just keep that in mind that's volts 14.4 volts i'm sorry i said amps 14.4 volts in the, the the literature that came with this was it, it was very informative lots of good reading car generator does indeed take replace a small gas powered generator you don't have to worry about carrying around a gas can anymore you got a, a, a tank full of gas in the vehicle you can idle that vehicle for extended periods of time you can power your essential appliances with the car generator. You can power your RV basics with the car generator. If you step up, if you put in a bigger alternator on your vehicle and you get the bigger model, you could actually run the AC system if you've got a soft start, but that's a whole nother, whole nother level. We're talking about the basic power supply that is awesome you don't have to you don't have to buy one of those little thousand watt generators now you your car can do that job for you now the car generator actually all of these products can be found on amazon i'll put a link up there and a link down there that link will take you to my amazon influencer page the friday's finds shopping list that way you can that way you can see all of the stuff from the Friday's Finds show. I am also an affiliate. I have spoken directly with the company and I'm now an affiliate for Car Generator and we can get you a little, little better price position using the affiliate link for Car Generator. It'll be the first link in the description below and heck, I'll pop one up right there. And that will take you to the Car Generator store and if you use the code dude rv they're going to give you a special deal they're going to give you a special deal on your car generator and they're, they're great folks though so, uh, i've talked to them several times now and just their customer service they're just so friendly folks if you've not already and and if you found some value in this content if you enjoyed looking at these three unique products and oh, by the way, I want to give a special shout out of thanks to the three sponsors of this edition of Friday's Finds, this no-name edition of Friday's Finds. Thank y'all for sponsoring the show. Thank you, viewer, for staying with me at, to this point. If you found some value, please click on that thumbs up. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along and are already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. Thanks. I appreciate that opportunity. And for our patrons, we are most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?